In this video, we're going to have a look at how to animate the icon. So in the standard um, configuration, when it comes to the accordion, you'll see that you can click, but the icon doesn't change. And what I've done here now is change that icon. So that's the default state. When you click on it, you'll see now that the icon rotates up. Click again and it rotates down and it's a nice smooth operation. So to make that possible, uh, one way to find the reference is to head over to your um, Bricks Builder. Now the change we're going to make is purely in CSS, but if you want to learn more about transitions, you'll see that um, in your CSS selector here, in the side navigation, you'll see that there's a link here to learn more about CSS transitions, and if you click on that, this page will open, and you can see quite a lot of information about you know how to create different transitions but the only one that we want to look at or the only one that we're interested in is really just the change in the state from the um, one uh, position to the second position so to make that happen this is all that we need is this piece of code here this transition and in this case it says ease out it could also be ease in but that's the only bit of CSS that we need. Then I'm going to head back over to the website. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to then animate one of these others. So maybe what I'll do is on this one here, we'll create that same transition animation. So to make that work, uh, let's inspect. So we just want to inspect that so we can see what um, classes we're dealing with. And then I'm also going to open up the customize uh, window here on the left hand side. I'm going to head over here to additional CSS and then what we'll do is we'll apply that to a new section so I'll just make some space at the top left right so what we do now is I'll scroll down and I'll select this particular element so just right click and inspect and you'll see that you'll have a class come up for the icon so I'm going to uh, take that I'm going to copy that and I'm just going to paste that into the window. And then when we look at the class that we want to use for when the um, accordion is open, if we open one of these, you'll see that there's a change here and that there's this class brx-open is added. So in the first one, we've just copied the icon, the classes related to the icon. And in the second um uh, copy that we make of that now to target that icon when it's open we're going to select that brxe open so if we close you'll see here in this line we have this brx dash open so now we'll do a dot brx dash open and then we're going to paste in that same information so now we're targeting it when it's open and we're targeting when it's in its normal state that way we have a smooth transition to open and then a smooth transition back to close. So in this case, what we're going to do then, um, so we have this transition worked out. We know that we're going to go for that um, transition that we had a look at from the page here. So we have that transition. So I'm just going to paste that in. So we have the transition, um, but we haven't told it, we haven't given it a direction. So we won't see a visible change until we give it a, a rotation and the rotation that we'll look at um, is probably going to be 90 degrees so I have an example here uh, which says transform rotate um, minus 180 so that's um, we only going to transition 90 degrees so let's have a look and see what we got so I've said transition 90 degrees so what will happen now is that when I open what should happen now is when I open, um, okay, so you'll see that the transition has been applied, but I've applied it to the wrong icon. You'll see I applied that to the icon without the BRX open. So now it's pointing down. So what I want to do is copy that. Um, and I'm going to paste that in there. So now You'll see if I uh, just remove that, you'll see now that the icon faces to the right. And when we click on it, we have this nice smooth transition 
between the open and the closed state. And what we want to do is um, in the opening, it's fine if it's a little bit slower, but when it closes, we want it to close quicker. So I'm going to close the transition to 0.2 second. And now you'll see that when we open, it's a bit slower. And when we close, it's a little bit faster. You might also want to make the um, animation more interesting by adding a, um, a more interesting transition. So for example, you know, we just have this um, very basic opening and closing. But if you wanted to add something more interesting, you could have a look, for example, at adding some padding here. So let's add some padding. And uh, that's in the in the closed state. And then in the open state, let's give that a background now. So let's go to background. And I'm going to give that a dark background. So that's looking good. Then we'll add some color. So let's make that white. So there we have the white. And then maybe I even want to add a um, border radius. And I'll make it 25 pixels so that it's nice and round. Uh, could do something along those lines. Um, maybe add a bit more padding here. So it's it looks nice and round. And now you'll see that when you open and close the tab, there's actually a really nice animation effect that then takes place as the shape changes from this uh, square background in the closed state to the round shape in the open state. So that's pretty much all that we need to do then to create interesting animations. If you'd like the arrow to face up instead of down when it's open, uh, what you can then do is just change the rotation degree. So here we've said 90 degrees, so 270 um, will rotate it up. So now you'll see the icon rotates all the way around. And if you wanted to, um, you know, maybe you just wanted to rotate the other way, then what we'll do is we'll change that 270 to a minus 90. And now you'll see that the icon rotates in the opposite direction. If you've already added your icon and you decide, you know, you'd like to have the state of the icon to be pointing down instead of to the right, but you don't want to go back and change the icon, you can also then in this window here, use that transform rotate. So if I make that change here, now I have the arrow facing down. And you'll see that when we click, it then rotates to face up. And if I want to change the direction of the rotation, so at the moment I've set it to um, minus 90 degrees. So if I now convert that to the positive value, it will now rotate in the opposite direction. So there you see it rotating around the left hand side. And then here, um, it rotates around to the right hand side. So you can decide which direction you prefer. And that's how you can change the direction by either using the positive value or the negative value. So there we have the icon. Um, click on it and it rotates up. If I don't want it in that direction, and then I'm going to change that to 270 and then you'll see it rotates I prefer maybe this rotation is a bit more natural so yeah that's how you can quite easily then change the rotation of that icon and also how you can add this nice smooth animation then and because it has a square background to the round background it just creates that nice interesting effect well, that's how you can add then um, a nice smooth animation to your open and close buttons when you're using the accordion in Bricks Builder. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.